Hey, it's Rocky Tapscott here from Local Web Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to go through some business building strategies you can apply, no matter whether you have an offline business, an online business, or if you promote your products both online and offline. Now, one of the biggest pieces of advice I could give you would be, first of all, use direct response strategies. Don't use branding advertising. Unless you've got a budget like Coca-Cola, you simply can't afford to use branding advertising and hope people eventually see it and come into your business and spend your money. What you want to do is use direct response strategies. And the simplest way I can explain to use that is you just say to people, listen, here's what I've got, tell them what it is, and then you say, here's what it will do for you, and explain the benefits of them using this thing that you've got to sell. And then you say, here's what to do next. So you're making them an offer, and you've got a call to action. You're telling them you want them to do something. So you tell them exactly what to do. So next up, you need to create irresistible offers to attract new clients. Like most people think because they're in business, people will come to them. And to a certain extent, that's true. But if you really want to get people to come over from competitors to you, you've got to entice them over. You can't just sit there and say, me too, here I am, come and spend money with me. You really need to create an irresistible offer to get them to come over and try you out. What you really want to try and do is make them an offer that your prospects feel they're taking advantage of you. So come up with something that's just absolutely a no-brainer for them to say yes to, and something that's easier to say yes to than it is for them to say no to. Next up, you need to have ongoing follow-up by mail, phone, and email. Postcards are great. If there's enough margin in your products, you should really be following up with people over and over again offline as well as online. Now, if you have a purely online business and you don't have people's mailing addresses, you can follow up with email. You can send little audios, you can send videos, you can send all sorts of digital products to them. But ideally, you really want to try and get their physical mailing address and start following up with your best customers offline. Another great way to keep clients, customers, and prospects engaged with you is to have a regular newsletter. And ideally, you don't want to call it a newsletter. It should really be positioned as a coaching program because people don't have time to read a newsletter. But if you're sending them useful information in the form of a coaching program, which means basically the same thing, and you structure it as an ongoing coaching program where, they, where you take them from one place through a series of processes to a logical conclusion, you're going to get higher readership, you're going to get more engagement from your readers, you're going to get them contacting you, and you're going to get them to buy products and services from you when you recommend them. You also should have multiple lead generation strategies. The worst number in any business is one. So if you're relying on Google AdWords or organic search traffic or direct mail or radio or television or one lead generation strategy, you're setting yourself up to fail because if you lose that, your business is dead. So you really need to set up multiple lead generation strategies. And even if some don't work as well as others, you need to have them all going because if you lose one or two, your business can die very quickly. Another critical function that most businesses completely forget about in their desire to get new clients, they forget about client retention. And honestly, selling stuff to your existing clients is way easier than trying to find new clients to sell things to. So some strategies you can use, and there are plenty of others, but these are just three that came off the top of my head that you can use to retain clients and get them buying more from you, are stick strategies. So when someone buys a new product from you, you want to send them a carefully crafted follow-up sequence of messages, either by direct mail or email. If there's enough margin in the product, you want to get people to call them on the phone even. Because people are going to have buyer's remorse, and you really want them to use and consume your products. Because if they do that, they're much less likely to ask you for a refund. So if you follow up with people after they've bought, make them feel comfortable with their purchase, they're going to stick with you longer, and you're going to have a much lower refund rate and they're going to buy more from you because if they consume the product and they get a result, they're going to be happy to spend more money with you because you lived up to your promises. So the more you can do to make your sales stick, the less sales you're going to have to get from new customers and the more money you're going to make. Another thing you should be doing is doing new promotions regularly, whether they're new products you create, whether it's private label rights products you get and rebrand as your own, whether it's products you get from other merchants or even affiliate products from other merchants where you sell online. You should be doing new promotions at least once a month and do a small launch with them. You create some anticipation by telling people there's a new product coming. You talk about what it is and what it will do. You launch the product, have a special price for a few days. Use some scarcity at the end. Pile on some bonuses, stacking the cool as Frank Kern calls it. You put more bonuses on at the end 
and then once that's over you put the price up and people can buy it at the higher price you might offer it on a sale again in the future you might bundle it with other products but again you should be doing new promotions at least once a month you should also be doing custom appreciation events which means if you're a purely online business you could do webinars you could do teleseminars you could create videos for them and create a Ning social networking site you could have them all hang around your Facebook fan page create some sort of customer appreciation event that you can do online if you're doing it offline if you if you have an offline business you can invite them into your premises into your office to your practice get them around show them new products you can talk to them you can make them feel more at home with you so they get to know like and trust you even more but by just interacting with your customers you're going to find they're going to grow to like you more they're going to respect you more you're going to be able to charge higher prices because they see you as an obvious expert and they're going to buy more things from you another terrific strategy that most businesses don't use or don't use enough is ascension so what you want to do is you want to try and ascend your customers through multiple levels so they come in they buy an entry-level product and then you ascend them up to higher and higher levels now this could be as simple as silver gold platinum and then the elite group which could be your personal coaching client something like that or it could be an entry-level product a higher priced product an even higher priced product and then they buy the full package from you at the end so if there's a way to set up ascension in your business where people move through a logical process of buying higher and higher priced products, you should try and set that up. And finally, there's client reactivation systems. Now, it's much easier to reactivate past clients in most cases than it is to find new clients. Clients could have stopped dealing with you for any number of reasons. They moved away, they had a better offer from somebody else, they simply forgot about you. But it always pays to try and reactivate clients anytime you can because they're easy to sell to because they know you, they like you, they trust you. As long as they've had a good experience with you, if they haven't had a good experience, well, you're not going to get them back. But if you've dealt fairly with them, most of the time, if they have a need for your product or service still, you can get them to come back and at least give you a try. So you want to do something like a three-step direct mail sequence or a three-step email sequence if you have their email address. And if you've got email, you can do multi-step. You can do 10, 15 steps. And the best way to do this for email is to just send them cool stuff, some great content that gives them something that helps them to achieve something and then ask them to come back with a special offer. With direct mail, you can send a three-step sequence or a four-step sequence if there's enough margin in the product, make them an offer, then remind them about the offer and then give them a deadline for the offer. And you'll get a lot of people will come back just if you ask them. Again, if you go back and create an irresistible offer, you're going to get a lot more people to come back and try you again than if you don't. Another great way to reactivate customers is just to phone them up. Just call them on the phone. You can do it or you can have a staff member do it. Just ask them how they are and make them a special offer. Get them to come back in your business and keep making different offers over time. And some of your customers will just come back because they forgot about you or they just haven't needed your services in a while. You can also use postcards, which are great. Just tell people you're thinking about them and make them a special offer on the back. And of course, you can use email. If you have people on an email list, just send them out a sequence of email messages and you can make special offers over and over again to get your customers to come back into your business. So I hope you found these business building strategies helpful. And if you have any questions, please let me know.